in a small country in Africa called Rwanda. Back in 1994, there was a terrible, terrible tragedy. Two tribes of people in the country started warring against each other. The Hutu, who, who were in the majority, started going against the Tutsi, the other tribe. And they started going against them with machete swords and spears to kill everyone that they saw who was a member of that tribe. The end result was that almost a million people were slaughtered in the course of just a few months. The story we're going to tell today is the story of a young lady who got caught up in this terrible tragedy of death and destruction. She lost her mother, her father, and two brothers, and had to live in terror, get this, for 91 days, living in a space three by four in a toilet. It's a story of faith and a story of courage. Before, even before that, we always had this kind misunderstanding between the tribes, but somehow people understood each other, but the politi politicians, they somehow like, had been pushing for us to kill each other in front of death. I can remember my dad going up on a stone and talking to everybody, wow. and maybe this is a chance God gave us to apologize and to repent so that we can go to heaven pure. Then even in the middle of this 10,000, my dad came to me and said that he feels that I should go to hide. And I was fighting with them, like, why me? Why not my brother? Why not my mom? A million people were killed. In a period of three months. In three months' day. A small place. Rwanda is the size of Maryland. The one who kills more is the hero. And then like, what have you been telling me all my 24 years of my life? I thought you were good people. I thought I can follow what you say. It was really a time that changed everything in my mind. Yeah. And if I have left God in that moment, I would have been lost. I think that the moment we need God more is when we're going through trouble. I can remember exactly when, it, when this was happening. And like I said, it was really the increase of pain that was more like pushing me to go towards God. As I was losing trust in everything outside, I was going towards God. I just couldn't believe what, it's almost in my heart was what sin have done to him. Yeah. I get it now. This man, needs the truth, needs to be prayed for, to know what it is when I do wrong to a person. I don't sleep. I, when I told him I forgive him, he looked down. He couldn't face me anymore. 